This is Tom Morley with another tutorial on the Natron compositing application. This one we'll get a bird's eye view of the user interface. Now I've started up my key monitor application and that's this area right here. This is not part of, of Natron itself but this is just something that will show you um, keys that I press as well as any buttons that I, I press on the uh, on the mouse you'll see those or if I scroll um, with the scroll mouse you'll see that as well. So in the previous video we talked about three of the biggest sections. We talked about the viewer section. This is where you'll see the actual output of the project that you're creating. Down here in the lower section we've got the node graph and the node graph is going to be where we load all of our nodes and set up node trees and our process flow. That will all happen here in the node graph. And over here on the right hand section we have the properties area and you'll see any properties that you can manipulate that relate to a given node here in your node graph. And by default, when you start a new project, what you'll see over here in the properties section is your project settings. And you'll see that there's a few things that are set up already for me. I've previously loaded an image before I started this tutorial that was 857 by 1280 resolution. And what has happened is my project has formatted itself to that resolution of 857 by 1280. So if I didn't want that and I wanted this format to be in like an HD format that would be 1920 by 1080, you can just click that down arrow and uh, set your project at 1920 by 1080. And uh, th that's where you change the settings for your output resolution and down here is your frame rate. So it's set right now for 24 frames a second but if your project was supposed to be at 30 frames a second then you can just put that in here in your project settings. But um, I typically deal with uh, 24 frames a second so I'm going to leave it at 24 frames a second. One of the areas I didn't talk about in the previous video is the area on the far left here and that area is the nodes toolbar. All of the nodes that you have available that you can use in a project are going to be listed in this area here. So if you just hover over these icons you'll see that this is the image section. You've got the color, channel, merge, filter, transform, time, draw, keyer, views and you have some extra nodes down here. So if you click on, like in this case you click on the image icon, it will expand and you'll see all of the nodes that you have available that relate to images. So if we wanted to load an image for instance, we would load the read node, which is that right here. We can click on it to select it and it will bring up a file menu where we can select images or videos for us to import into our project. Now I know what images I want to use but let's say um, you weren't sure and you wanted to see what the images were. You can click on this arrow here and when you click on it you get a little preview area as far as the uh, file selection is concerned. So you can click on a PNG in this case and actually see what, what the image looks like. So yeah, that's that's the image I want to load. So I'm going to make sure that that's selected and just click open here. And you'll see it drops the uh, image here in a read node in the node graph area here. But it doesn't connect my image to the viewer. So I don't see the picture up here in the viewer section. In order to view the image we need to connect these two different nodes and you connect these nodes with what's called a pipe. This little arrow here is called a pipe. So if I left click and drag and drop it up on the image what I've done is I've connected a pipe from the read node to the viewer node. So now there's, there's a process flow in that I'm loading the image with the read node and then that image 
information is going to flow in the direction of the arrow down to the viewer node so that I can actually see it. So each node you can think of as basically a small little engine that's going to manipulate or process the data in some way. So I want to load a secondary image. I have one image already so let's go up and load another image. I'm going to go to the image section and expand it. Click on read and I want to see the images that I'm clicking on and I want to load this image here which is uh, kind of looks like a neon uh, neon behind uh, some frosted glass so I'm going to click open on that so I've, what I've done is I've created a two read nodes here now so how can I view this neon image and maybe view the actual image of the snow leopard in the easiest way possible. Well, if you select the image that you want to connect to the viewer, each viewer has multiple connections, just like if you had a DVD player or a uh, video game system that you needed to connect to your TV. It has multiple HDMI inputs that you can use multiple cables to plug into the TV. Well, it's the same thing with a viewer. A viewer can have up to um, 10 connections. Okay, So this image, the regular image, is connected to my viewer node in channel 1. So if I want to connect my neon image to the viewer in channel 2, well just make sure your um, image is selected, press the number 2 key, and you'll see I've created a pipe from my read to my viewer nodes, and I've connected that into channel 2. So now if I um, press the number one and two keys, you'll see that I change from one image to the other. Um, because I went in the window while I was pressing the number one and two keys, I've actually created the toggle wipe tool up, up here in the viewer area. We're not going to worry about that for now. Just If that happens to you, just right click on it and toggle your wipe tool so that it goes away and then go back down to your node graph and press your number one and number two keys and you'll see that your image your images change when you press the number keys so that's an, a quick easy way for you to put a couple of images in there and uh, toggle between the two to see see what you have uh, available but what if I wanted instead of just seeing one uh, image or the other I wanted to actually merge between these two images in some way well, there we could go over here to the nodes toolbar and we'll find a, a merge node. One way is to just uh, go down until you see um, the section that you want. In this case, right there is the merge area. And if you click on that, you have the, uh, the different nodes that are available under the merge menu. And you can just click the merge button and it drops down here for you to use. Now, that's one way to do it. I'm going to select it and press the delete key because I want you to see a secondary way of doing it. And that's when you're in the node graph area, you can press the tab key and it brings up a search box. So then once that search box is up, you can start typing. And if uh, you start typing, it's going to auto select nodes that just meet the requirements of what you're typing in there. So if I just type in MER, it's going to give me all of the nodes that have MER in the title of the nodes. Well, there's my merge node. And I can double click on it and, I, and it loads here. So in order to merge these two different images together, I have an A and a B channel. So I want to, in one way to do it is I'm going to grab the A uh, channel of my merge node and bring it over and drop it on my regular image of my snow leopard here. And I'm going to do the same thing for the B. Uh, pipe here. I'm going to bring it up and drop it on the neon image. And I'm just going to move this over to the middle so that it's a little easier to see. So I'm going to change things a little bit. We have this one, this picture connected to channel one of the viewer, right? And this image to number two. Well, I'm going to have this image connected to number one. I'm going to select the merge node and press the number two and what I've done is just slid that pipe over to my merge node so now the 
merge node is connected on channel 2 and I'm going to highlight my neon image and press number 3 and now I have three different channels connected to my my viewer node and now if I press number 1 I've got the regular image if I press number 2 I have the merge node at this moment the merge node is not doing any mixing so it just looks like the same images over here but let's change that okay so one of the ways to do that is to double click on your node and that will make sure that your properties for that node are at the top of your properties section so it, we have a mix area here and let's just grab the slider and move it to the middle and as I move it to the middle you'll see that the um, viewer area here is going to show you a mix between the regular image and the neon image and we want it to be about halfway between the two images so now I'm going to come back down to the node graph area. I'm going to click in this area. And now if I press the number one key, there's the regular image. Number two key is my merged image. And number three key is all neon. So I have these, these pipes connected so that I can see an unaltered image of the regular image or the neon, or I can see the, the merged area. Now the cool thing about the merge node, and we're not going to touch on all aspects of it because again this is just a bird's eye um, view of all the different sections of the interface itself. So I think I'm using the over process for the merge between the two images, but you can click on this arrow and you can select different ways of merging between the two images. So we could do a grain merge and you see that kind of has a different behavior on the um, image and again you can select it and move from one side to the other to um, get a different feel for what uh, what's there. And you have all of these different uh, styles of merging a couple of images so you can uh, you can try them all out. Overlay, reflect, saturation, soft light. I mean, each style here will give you a different uh, a different view in the image over here. So you can just basically play with this to figure out what it is that you're trying to uh, get out of your image. So we'll we'll set that to geometric, and I think I'm going to slide this a little bit uh, to the side here. A little bit, yeah. That looks that looks pretty good. So, those are the four main areas, and you've got your typical menus up here at the top. Nothing out of the ordinary. You can open projects, create new projects, save projects, edit your preferences. We're not going to go into all of the preferences, but for for right now, in later videos, we will. But again, this is bird's eye view. You can change your layout. That's one of the nice things about this is if you don't like the default layout on how everything's set up here, you could create your own layout and uh, export it and, and load it in. So in different uh, projects, you might want a different layout just because it makes the uh, process flow a little bit easier. And we've got display and render. You use this, this menu here to render out your finished products, whether that's a video or a picture using this menu here. And um, we'll probably talk about setting up the cache in the next video. Um, we'll see. And of course, your your help menu. So that's about it. I mean, that's that's the bird's eye overview of the graphic user interface. Again, you've got your nodes toolbar. You've got your view area. You got your node graph where you're going to set up your process flow. And anything that you can change will be over here on the right hand side in your properties. And and that's about it. So. This was basically the introduction, how to load it, and the and get and getting to know the the graphic user interface. So after this, I think what we're going to do is we'll just start doing a few projects. So we'll start with the easy projects first, and uh, we'll work our way on up from there. Okay, so I'll see you in the next video.